football, an SUV tube of plastic would have an integral role to play in the 2010 FIFA World Cup. But this is the Bubuzela, the instrument of choice for South African football fans, and its sound has come to symbolise the sport here. This instrument, it comes from the kudu, the kudu horn, whereby people from the, the village would come and, and, and blow the, the horn to call the people from the village in order to gather people around. So that's where this instrument comes from. A regular at football grounds around the country since the late 1990s, the modern incarnation is mass-produced and plastic. One man taking the Rufuzela business back to basics is Adam Carnegie, sourcing dried kelp from the African shoreline and hand-crafting it into a genuine work of art. With the way we cut the horns, we do definitely get a different sound, and we find the ones that are cut off at the end, like this croak here, tends to make the, the loudest sound of all. And these which are drilled, the sound is more sonorous. The Vuvuzela has caused him much controversy in the build-up to this tournament, with its detractors claiming it will irritate both players and fans. But for some, like Cape Town musician Pedro Espy Sanchez, the Vuvu's tone is a sound to be celebrated. When I found out that South Africa were going to host the Football World Cup, I said to myself, right, my mission, if I have one, would be to reintroduce these instruments so that people can make music. Because there's no good reason not to have music when you can find instruments like these just lying around on the beach. The Vuvuzelas only make one sound. If I make longer or shorter Vuvuzelas, then I can create other notes. So that's where the idea came from, really. From a desire to spread traditional music, the music of the South African fans, the music of all the fans. The Pretoria to Port Elizabeth and Port These trumpets will provide the soundtrack to Africa's world.